we're super excited because he is our first guest ever on the Come On Now podcast. We've been a huge fan of his work with Riot Comedy, and I would love to introduce Mr. Dylan Hudson from Riot Comedy. What's happening, uh, y'all? How y'all doing today? We're good. We're doing, we're doing great, Dylan. We are excited to have you here. You're our first guest for Damn, our new that's podcast, wild. and we love it. We love that you're here. You know, you're part of the ball head community like myself. I know I hey. saw your picture. You know, I'm not personally shaped right now, though. That's why I got the stocking cap on. I got a little fuzz, so I have the stocking cap on. Uh, but you know, thank you uh, for you know, thank you for what you've done in in, po- in reposting our stuff when you did. Um, that's huge for us as we are new. And I know, you know, I've been, I became a, I know I I I learned about you guys last uh, spring during the playoffs, watching these different basketball videos. Jimmy the Butler is that so whose voice is that? Can't hear you. You're muted. Hit it. Can you unmute him, Donald? Let me try. Give me one. Yeah, second. there we go. We good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who is Jimmy the Butler? So Jimmy the Butler is actually my brother. My brother Trent. He was supposed to come on too. Um, it was gonna be a couple of us jump on, but we were working on the episode for tomorrow, and it's not coming out as smoothly as we want it to. So they fell back and were like, "Yo, I'm just gonna stay back, try to bang this episode out, and you just go hold it down for Riot Comedy." So I'm holding it down for for the squad. Okay. Definitely, definitely, we appreciate it. You know, I, I you know I did some research and I learned that you guys have been doing this for a while now. You know, like Comedy Central. Um, I saw that your brother was doing this, and then he called you. He says you're a self-taught artist. Damn, Talk about you, how, like, you, like how you got into right? this. Where you get all that info from? Who you talking it, to? There was an article I, I read on. I think it was Voya or something like that. Oh, okay, um, from like 2019. <laughs> yeah. So basically, how it started was this was like back in shit 20, 2015 or something. Um, <laughs> My brother was living in San Diego at the time and he was a financial advisor and he was just fucking miserable. He didn't like his job. And he just called me one day and was like, yo, like, I hate my fucking job. Like, we should make cartoons. And I was basically just like, bet, let's do it. Because I had talked about it at one point. A couple of my other brothers had talked about it at one point. And like, that's my spirit, man. Like, you you throw something fun at me. Like, let's go after it. Let's go try it. Because before that, I was actually doing music. My brother... uh he was a uh, rapper and I was making beats. So we were like releasing albums together all the time. So I've always been in the creative spirit, just chase after the dreams. And then he said, let's make cartoons. I was like, fuck it, let's go. Um, so we just like taught ourselves how to do it all. Taught ourselves how to animate, how to write, draw the characters, all that shit. And when we first got started, I couldn't draw at all. Like people always tell me, they're like, man, you got God given talent to draw. Like you're so lucky. I'm like, nah, man, you should have seen my drawings at the beginning. Like I used to sit there for <laughs> hours and watch YouTube videos on how to draw cartoon characters. And this was never, I was like, 20 21 at the time so i was starting from nothing and if you if you watch the first videos we ever made if anybody wants to see you can search the lounge on youtube mm-hmm. the lounge cartoon it's fucking trash but that was the <laughs> first that we ever made but i mean it was good enough to, to where comedy central found it like we made that we made that show and we put out we were putting out two episodes a week at that time and comedy central found it we're like yo you guys have mad potential we like what you all are doing let's meet so we flew out to LA and met with Comedy Central. They liked us, and then we signed a deal with them and developed the show for two years. But the show didn't make it to television. Uh, we just did like twenty shorts with them online through their through their website, and then we took a, a pitch meeting with them to try to get the show on TV. And we fucking bombed our pitch as bad as you can bomb a pitch. <laughs> and do it. So that, that's that's that story, and then. After we blew that pitch, we were like, fuck, like, what do we do now? Like, we still want to make cartoons. And this was in, like, I think 2018 at this point. So then we just came up with an idea, like, all right, we got to go start making content again, go online, put it wherever we can, get our following up, get our buzz up so that we can at least get meetings again. Because nobody would even take a meeting with us. We didn't have an agent. We didn't have a manager. Nobody was rocking with us. So that's when we launched the NBA cartoon was in 2018. And we did it for the 2018-2019 NBA season. And back then, we were only releasing, like, one episode a week at that point, And it was, like, a minute long. 
Um, and we were partnered up with Ball's Life at the time. So we grew our following decently over the course of that NBA season. I think we hit like 55,000 followers over the course of that NBA season. Wow. Crazy, but we were doing decent numbers. We had a little bit of a following. So then people started to take meetings with us again. So we took a step back from the NBA cartoons again. And we're like, because to be honest, like our, our, our goal the entire time and our dream was we want to sell a TV show and have a show on, on TV. Like we would be like Seth MacFarlane, Trey Parker, Matt Groening, like all these people. So we took a break from the NBA cartoon for like, shit, almost two years where we were just making original shows, putting together treatments, pilots, taking pitches with all these networks. And we, we shopped a bunch of shows for like two years and the networks still, they were, they were not fucking with us. <laughs> so in October of 2022, my brothers and I finally said, man, fuck all this. Like, fuck the networks, fuck the studios, fuck the production companies. We're not taking any meetings again for till further notice. No more meetings. If anyone calls us, don't answer it. They email us, don't answer it. We're not reaching out. Fuck them all. And we got really, really serious about being independent. And so from then on out, from October 2022 up until today, um, we just fucking completely exploded. We went, we started doing the NBA cartoon again. We did the NFL cartoon and we're releasing five to seven episodes a week. We gained over 800,000 followers since then, uh, doing like 8 million views a week. And what's funny is now a lot of these people are starting to come back to us now and are like, hey, we'd love to hear what y'all have going on. Like, what's new with you guys? It's like, I mean, where was that energy fucking a year and a half ago whenever I was pitching y'all shit? But, you know, we'll take their meetings. We'll listen, see if they got got a little bag for us. But, yeah, we're, we're talking to a couple of people right now, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll drop the announcements if, if everything works out. And if it doesn't, like, we're not tripping on any of them, man. Like, fuck it at this point. We're doing great without them. They need to cut the check if that's the case. Now they got to bring a bag of money, a Brinks truck. <laughs> Dog, they got to come real right. I mean, there was a, there was a company that came to us. I'll say this. I'm not going to say who the company yeah. was, but there was a company that came to us and wanted us to make a show for them. And it was a digital show, and we didn't want to do it at all. We were like, man, fuck, that's just going to take time away from what we're doing. I don't want to fuck with these people. Yeah. And they were basically like, we'll give you all no notes. You can do whatever you want. We'll just distribute it. You guys can be the ghosts behind it, and we'll give you – I mean, they threw us a number that we couldn't refuse. It wasn't like nothing <laughs> – it's crazy, like we wasn't getting rich from, it, but it was enough to where we were like, "Damn, that much okay. money for a thirty-second video? <laughs> okay, okay, we can make that for you." Okay, um, but then we started butting heads with them creatively, and oh. we was like, "Fuck it, fuck all this." So, who comes up with the ideas? Is it all three of y'all, or you know, what? Because like, these man. these characters are amazing. You know, from Nick, Nikki the Butcher, you know, Bam is getting beaten up, hanging out of a helicopter. You know, with 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 Jimmy the Butler and gosh, uh, the 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 JJ twins, Jason Tatum and Jalen yeah. Brown. You can see I watch everything. So, right. so I, I want to say this real quick. I don't think my microphone is working. I think my computer mic is doing. We it hear all you though. Is yeah, there a way yeah, that yeah, y'all can? You can hear me fine. Yeah, we, we hear you good. fine. Yeah. All right, fuck it. Um. All right, so these characters, like, in, in every episode idea, like, it's it's completely random who comes up with it, like. Sometimes it's, you know, my brother Trent, my brother Devin. Sometimes it's me. We have a group chain, a group chat going in our text message that's literally just going all day, every day, just throwing ideas out. What are we doing today? Did you see this in the news? What can we do here? Who's got jokes for this episode? And it's just going all day, every day. And then at night is whenever we usually write the scripts. But as for the characters, like, I'm going to tell you a funny story about the Jimmy the Butler, how that came to be. This was fucking a crazy ass day. So... That game was happening at like four or five in the afternoon and we didn't have an episode. It's like, I think it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Tip off is at four o'clock in the afternoon or five o'clock. Let's call it five o'clock. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. We don't even have an idea. Actually, we, we had an idea. We, we had this idea where we want, no one's ever heard this actually. We had an idea where it was the Celtics in the heat they were playing. And uh, we wanted to do, we wanted to center around Big Face Coffee. And the reason why Jimmy Butler was so good was because he was drinking Big Face Coffee. So we wanted to do like this SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Plankton type of shit where the Celtics kept trying to steal a secret formula from Big Face Coffee from Jimmy Butler. So they harnessed the powers from it. And that was like an idea we were playing with. And then out of nowhere, we were like, Jimmy Butler, like, what if we just make him a butler and he's just serving everybody else? Like, and we were like, fuck fuck it, let's run with it. And so from a time period of like one o'clock in the afternoon to five o'clock in the afternoon, that episode got wrote, recorded, voice acted, animated, produced entirely and, and put out before 
tip off and we didn't really have a plan on keeping him as Jimmy the Butler, but the fans fell in love with it immediately. And we we're like, all right, he's Jimmy the Butler. Now that's who he is. I mean, then, yeah, Nick, Nick and I are diehard heat fans. You know, Donald is in his own little Chicago world. He's a Bulls fan. Um, are, are you, are you, what, what sports teams do you guys like? Cause I mean, are you a Heat fan or are you a Lakers fan? And you're from Missouri, right? I am, yeah. So, honestly, okay. growing up in Missouri, I didn't have a team to root for whenever I was younger. So, I was just rooted for players. So, whenever I was young, yeah. I was like a huge Kobe fan, which yeah. gave me a soft spot for the Lakers. So, my favorite team as a kid growing up was like the Lakers for a long time. So, I got a soft spot for them and I live in L.A. now. So, go Lakers. But honestly, man, I just root for players. At this point, like, I like – I'm a big fan of Giannis, Anthony Edwards, LeBron, Luka, Kyrie – um, I, I just like to root for greatness. Whoever's next up to be great, that's that's who I root for. So I'm a big LeBron fan. Go LeBron. Uh, he's not going to get another ring. I've accepted that. So it's time for me to move on and, and accept next up. And next up is probably, I mean, we're looking. We did an episode on this the other day. Who's the next face of the NBA? Yes, I saw it. I saw it. You know, Anthony but, Edwards, I saw it. Who was it? Luke, Luke, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was it uh and uh Nick, Nicky the Nicky the butcher doesn't want to do it. He likes to run horses and stuff. He don't talk for that shit. He don't care about that. <laughs> just a simple horse trainer. So but, we were just talking about before when you jumped on. We were talking about uh Cam Newton. I saw the Cam Newton video today. <laughs> so, oh yeah. It, it, this is all on Brock Purdy then, basically, right? Brock Purdy is yeah. behind it. You can that <laughs> that is what that is what happened in real life. I, my sources tell me right oh, comedy. Wow. Tell me that Brock Purdy is on the loose, peeing on people's faces, and set the hit on Cam Newton. Tell him you heard it from Riot Comedy. This oh, is we, we, we will. We will. <laughs> we just I haven't spread the rumors. I was, di- I was dying watching that today. How long does it take to make one of these videos? You said you just made one in three and a half, four hours. I mean, are you like, you're using computers to draw this stuff, or you, you're yeah, not writing yeah. it by hand, right? So, honestly, man, like these things used to take us when we first started. I mean, to write an episode, record it, animate it, and do everything. I mean, it used to take us 12 to 15 hours to do one of these. But now we're so fast. We've been doing this shit for so long. Like, we've made, shit, man, probably 300 episodes of content now. That's all animated. And shit, probably more than that. So we're, we're crazy fast now. I mean, there's times where we'll write a script in 10 minutes. And then there's times we write a script in three hours. And honestly, like, what's crazy about that is the better the episode is, the more you enjoy it chances are that that episode was wrote way faster than any other episode. Like that Cam Newton wow. episode came out hella fast. I think we wrote that in like 20 minutes. Um, but, but then we have other episodes that we're just like trying and trying and trying and trying to can't come up with shit. It takes us three hours. And, you know, that's one of them episodes that we just call this will do. This is going to have to do. It is what it is. But, you know, when you drop new episodes almost every day, like they can't all be masterpieces. Like as long as, yeah. you know, 49 out of 50 are good. I'm cool with that. I mean, we have a dud one out of 50 where we're just like, I'm not very happy with this one, but. Well, I never expected that OJ Simpson would have been in the demon side or the devil side for Patrick Mahomes. I thought it would be someone else. And everybody expected Eli Manning. (laughs) Yeah, because he, I mean, well, he killed Tom Brady twice. (laughs) It was was too easy. That's too simple. And we look at the comments, and that was a big reason why we didn't want to do Eli Manning because. We dropped the episode as like a to be continued to go see the football devil. And I, I would say 90% of the comments were like, oh, it's going to be Eli. I know it's Eli. It's Eli. And we don't want to do the obvious. So we were like, all right, curveball, boom, take this. And, you know, it does make sense to be Eli, but it doesn't. It does in regards like he beat Tom Brady twice, but like Eli Manning, like he's just That's some boring. fucking He's a dumb idiot football player. Like he, he's not a fucking a devil. OJ Simpson, that's a devil. What we wanted to do, but I mean, it just it takes too much time to do all these things. We wanted to bring in Aaron Hernandez and have him be like OJ Simpson's sidekick, little gimp. That was like his like demon sidekick. But then it's like it's a whole thing. You got to get lines in for him. You got to fit them all onto the screen. So that's what we wanted to do. There's a lot of shit we really want to do, but we can't do it due to like. <laughs> timing getting the episode out and like framing like that's that's something yeah. a lot of people don't know is like because every episode is vertical so people yeah. are like why did you put this guy in it and this guy in it? it's like motherfucker how am i gonna fit 20 <laughs> people on the screen like i can't like i can fit four people that's how many people i can fit on the screen unless i pull the camera way out so we're really limited in a lot of aspects that people don't get I, so I got, uh I have you have uh let me one me i got a couple more uh, pat go ahead yeah let me get in no, here I was um, saying, no, go ahead doc. 
the, the corporate side of me is automatic. I do advertising by day. I uh, work with a lot of different brands. You froze up, Donald. I think I lost uh, you, Doug. Can you hear me now? Donald, you froze up. D, go back. Say it again, D. Re- repeat it. Hello? Can you hear me now? Repeat, repeat it. it. Yeah. 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 Yes. So the corporate side of me, I'm, I do advertising by day. Sports brands. I do sports advertising. So every time I go through your videos, I'm like, what is the legalities from using some of these name, image, and likeness to some of these? Because, yeah, you guys are doing it very intelligently. You're tweaking names, but you're talking about NBA IP, which is humongous. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have any legal battles that you have to face sometimes? Honestly, nobody has ever said anything to us. Like, the only thing anyone has ever said is they'll reach out like a player. Like, I'll I'll say this, actually. This is a dope story right here um, for your all's fans. So... Have you all seen the Pool Boy and Jacuzzi episodes we do? Yes. I was going to ask you about that next. Yeah. These are by far the most disrespectful episodes that we have. By far. Like, it's not even close. Like we. Oh, we when, when he got the big, the big erection and it exploded. Yeah, man. Like, these dudes get roasted more than anybody in all of our cartoons. And Kyle Kuzma <laughs> reached out to us actually to tell us. I got a DM from Kyle Kuzma's partner. And it said, <laughs> hey, I work for Kyle Kuzma. He wants to have a word with you. And I'm like, fuck, we're about to get sued. And so I sat there with that DM. I was like, I shouldn't answer this. Like, I'm not fucking answering this. Fuck this. If I don't, if I don't answer them, they're gonna go away. And like 24 hours go by, my brothers and I talk about it. I'm like, fuck it, let's answer them. Like, worst thing that can happen, they'll tell us to stop. Like, mm-hmm. fuck it, we'll just make an episode making fun of them for trying to sue us. Who cares? And they fucking reached out. We're like, yo, Kyle Kuzma is a huge fan of your all's work. Like, he likes what you all are doing, and he would be interested in potentially working with y'all in the future. Because that's I, awesome. I, I'll, I'll stop it there because I don't know what I am allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to no, say. That's awesome. Yeah. Like his uh, business ventures yeah. and things. But, yeah, I mean, he came out and was like, yo, I like what y'all are doing. So, but, yeah, no one's ever said anything. Um, we're protected pretty heavily because our company is based in California, though, and we have parity law to protect us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if somebody wants to come through and, you know, who's got a lot of power and money, you know, let's say like a LeBron James, like this dude is the face of the NBA, most powerful athlete on earth, arguably. He got endless money. If he wants to shut us down, like, LeBron James can shut us down. He can make a phone call and say, turn off their account, suppress it, shadow ban it. But, I mean, nobody's tripping on it. Apparently, most of the players like it. We get a lot of likes and follows from them. They DM us sometimes. We've worked with some players. Um, We had a player from the Knicks reach out last year, tell us how funny he thought it was and that he wanted to be in an episode. And this was right in the middle of the playoffs. So I'm like, man, aren't you busy? While the Heat is kicking their ass? (laughs) (laughs) Ain't you busy? Don't you have some shit to do? That's right. But yeah, um, no, nobody says anything. And uh, I, I talked to somebody who has a very close relationship with the NBA Players Association and the NBA. And, you know, I had told him, like, I'm, I'm worried we're going to get shut down one day. And he basically told me, like, the NBA is not going to shut you guys down. Like, you guys are good for the NBA. You bring a lot of eyeballs to it, a lot of attention to it. Like, we're giving them free publicity. And, you know, last year mm. during the playoffs, we, whenever it was the Heat versus the Nuggets, a lot of people weren't excited about that series. Like the ratings were a little bit down, but we're gen- we're still generating eight million views a week off of this finals that is Nuggets and Heat. And if you look at the comments, people are like, "Oh man, like I didn't even care about this series until y'all started making this. Ooh, like I can't wait for the next episode. Can't wait to watch the game to see what you guys are going to do next." So, in the end, we are really good for the league, and so, they don't want to shut that down. So we have the Council of Jimmies. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. I love. I just saw that. Now you have the the homeless Jimmy and the Mexican Jimmy. Homeless Jimmy was a low blow, but we had to do it. I love. I mean, I love them. I think they're hilarious. So you have the Council of Jimmies now. So I I don't know where, where did you come up with the new one. I mean, how do you just come up with these? I mean, they're great ideas to me. I mean, so sitting here like I'm wait. I'm watching this like wow. This is absolutely hysterical. I can't. And then, so you honestly, know, dog, like the more you do this shit, the easier it comes. It's just like anything else. Like, like you literally work out your creativity muscle in your brain. Like whatever you yeah. do, it just becomes easier. And sometimes we, the, the ideas literally just come to you like an epiphany. You just be in the middle of a fucking workout or taking a shower or whatever it is. And you're just like, oh shit, where the fuck did that idea come from? That's amazing. Yeah. Or sometimes you sit there and you, you fucking think and think and think for two hours. And then you're finally like, ah, boom. Okay. There's the idea. You know, I don't know if you saw today's episode yet. Y'all been pretty busy with the, the podcast, but we did an episode today where the Clippers are suing the Lakers 
I didn't uh, see that one yet. No. Okay, so they're, they're taking the Lakers to court and fighting them over custody of the Los Angeles fan base because the Lakers don't deserve them anymore because the Clippers are way better. And this was an episode that, like, we were working on this last night and we could not get shit out. We talked and talked and talked for two hours on what to do. And then finally, my brother Devin was like, what if we just take him to court? And I'm like, oh, shit, okay, that's an idea right there. Now let's start running with this. And then it came out. And then, you know, the Council of Jimmys, for example, Jimmy Butler, I mean, we already have multiple Jimmy characters. We had the Karen Jimmy. We had an emo Jimmy. We had regular Jimmy. We had the Butler. And we're like, man. And then I saw he was dropping a country music album. And I was like, I was like, how many fucking egos does this guy have? <laughs> I texted my brothers. And I was like, yo, we should do an episode of Jimmy Butler. He's seeking help from Dr. Phil because he has like split personality disorder and he can't get it under control. And then my other brother was like, no, fuck that. Let's do the council of Jimmy's instead where they just like meet collectively together all the time. And I was like, Oh, yep. That's it. That's better than the Dr. Phil. And we're just going to keep running with it. Like, we don't know where we're going to go with it. And even whenever we did the first council of Jimmy's episode, we didn't plan on making a second one that quickly. We just had so much fun with it that we're like, all right, keep them coming. So we, we still got a lot of Jimmy's to explore. We still got to bring in barista Jimmy. We got to bring in what other Jimmy's we got. And he's going to give us some more characters, too. Like, he's all over the place. People keep talking about bringing playoff Jimmy. You know? This, this I, I, I love Jimmy Butler. We're Heat fan. You know, like I said, me and Nick, are, Nick and I are Heat fans. We're, we live I in Miami. Jimmy Butler, dog. We Jimmy love Jimmy Butler. Butler. Jimmy Butler I is mean, one of my favorite players in the league. He's as real as they come. He's I, authentic. Absolutely. He's a fucking dog. Like, this motherfucker is a winner. And so people I, know that. I mean, people know that right now we're going to be a uh, playoff Jimmy's coming to life right now. And, and well, the heat waking up. And... I keep saying this, and people keep fucking telling me I'm crazy for this. I'm not picking them to come out of the East. But if the Heat were to come out of the East, like, don't be surprised. Like, don't I don't be wanna, shocked. I don't want to hear shit about, like, no, like, they're not doing it this year. Like, they do this same shit every year. They start off slow, then get hot, and then they mm -hmm. come in to your arena. They punch you in your fucking face, and that's it. And then you can't respond to them. So uh, the, only it, team, the only team that I think – can beat the Heat like definitively. Celtics. Celtics. <sighs> no, man. No, I, it's I, the it's the Nuggets to me. It's, it's I, a size I, problem. I, we still have... we're, we're thinking about the East. Or if, we're thinking if about we're the, in the East, East. I mean, honestly, yeah. I don't know if anyone's like a definitive winner. Like, I, if if I if I have to put my money on it, I got bucks over them. Just it's probably a stupid pick, but I just I believe in Giannis that much. They're playing bad. They got Doc Rivers as a coach, so they're probably that's probably not a good pick. But I, I said this in a commentary that we did, it was like the first week of the NBA season or the second week. And I'm sticking by this pick and I'm going to hold it down. The Boston Celtics, to me, are not going to go to the finals. And it's for the reason that they have one of the worst coaches in the NBA. I'll be on record and say it. Like, I think Missoula is a terrible coach. If you ever watch the Celtics play basketball in the fourth quarter, it's the same mistake every single time. Missoula never calls timeouts because it looks like he's afraid to have to make that call. Like if I call a timeout, then I got to draw something up and I got to fucking coach. I got to do my job. So all they do is play through it, play through it, let teams run back. And then next thing you know, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are shooting three pointer after three pointer after three pointer and just missing and missing and missing. And then they can't get their shit together. It's like the thunder whenever they had Russ and KD, they did that same shit. And that's why they could never get over the hump and win a ring. Cause every time in the fourth quarter, they didn't have any continuity. They didn't have any good plays that they could draw up. And the thing about the playoffs is that every game is, it's not the same as the regular season. Like it's half court basketball slowed down. And a lot of these games are close. And if you can't win close games, you can't win playoff basketball. And when you bump into a team like the heat, the heat can close Jimmy Butler, arguably the best closer in the NBA. Like when you bump into a team like that, you just, you can't beat them. So I, I'm counting them out. I mean, my pick right now, I will go I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Ooh, man, I'm going Milwaukee. Probably not a good pick, but I'm going with it, man, because I believe in Giannis that much and Dame that much. Um, and in the West, I keep flip flopping. Don't you do it? If 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 someone don't, made me put my money on it, I'm going with Denver. Okay, I'm going Denver. Don't but say the other name. Don't say it. Don't say the Clippers. I keep saying the Clippers, dog. <laughs> I keep saying the Clippers. I I knew it. I had a freaking feeling, man. The yeah, only thing that's going to stop this debate a few weeks ago, I think the Clippers can go to the finals too. Actually. And I said, the only thing that's going to stop the Clippers is themselves, because at the end of the day, like Ice Cube says, Clippers going to clip. Like that's just what it is. 
So you trust so, you trust Harden and Paul George and Kawhi knees? I don't trust none of them. <laughs> I like how you said Kawhi's knees, though, because like I do trust a healthy Kawhi, but he's never healthy. That's but if, if Kawhi does stay healthy, if he stays healthy, I got the Clippers. But nah, man, like I can't trust. It. I don't trust James Harden. I can't trust PG. Um, Russ is gonna be gonna be Russ. So that's you know what? I don't know. If good or bad, probably. That's a good thing. Good. You know why? Because he's gonna play a hundred percent. I ain't gotta worry about his effort. He gonna come with it every night, a hundred percent. My, sure. my my thing, I got the Lakers the second team. I think in the seven game series, they're the toughest team to, to beat in the seven game series. Now, oh, to getting into the playoffs is different. But when the game slows down in the playoffs and you got LeBron and AD combined with D'Angelo Russell's shooting when he wants to, with Austin Reeves playmaking and Rui Hachimura, you know, his versatility, I like them. Nick, I'm not mad at it. I'm not picking the Lakers. I'm not picking them either, but I said no, behind. Mad. Behind Denver, I have them. That, that is the thing with the Lakers, though, man, is that when it comes down to a seven-game series and it's slowed down basketball and you have to win, like, they are very, very hard to beat. I know the in-season tournament, like, it, it doesn't mean shit. Like, it's the in-season tournament. But at the end of the day, every single team in the NBA wanted to win that bitch. Like, everyone was trying. Like, it was good basketball. Everyone was trying. That's and what all I it said. came down to was, like, this is a one-game series. And you just, it's, I mean, you, you can't beat LeBron if it's, if it's win or go home. You just can't still. This dude is pushing 40, and he's still that dude when it comes down to that. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at people still supporting the Lakers and thinking they're good, but I, I'm rocking right. Denver. I got, one, I got one quick thing before we get you, you know, out of here or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. How do you feel about the Phoenix Suns? They have, nobody talks about them being the top team in the West. And under the radar, no. they have been winning. No, no belief in them at all, and it's Katie, for this reason. Booker. It's it's literally just this. He, Bradley Beal's been hurt all season, so it's just it's not how the sport of basketball works. Like you can't you can't be missing players and battling injury the entire season, and then just pick them up and drop them in right before the playoffs and win. It's just it's not how it works. They're very talented, but when they play a good team, Phoenix is not a good team. They have some good players, but they're not a good team. And when good players go up against good players that are on a good team, like a Denver or even the Clippers, like they're, they're not going to beat those teams. Like, stop saying the Clippers. I'm gonna keep <laughs> saying it. Go oh, Clippers. I ain't even a Clippers fan like that. Like honestly, I don't even like the Clippers, but I do like Kawhi, and I would like to see Russ get a ring. So I'm, I, they got my support right now. But the Clippers as a whole, as an organization, I'm not a Clipper fan. But so Dylan, I, uh, you know we appreciate it. Tell everyone where they can find Pool Boy and Jacuzzi. The Draymond Green from the Draymond Green Show, Jimmy the Butler, the NWO version up there of uh, you know King James and Anthony Davis and the Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum thing. I remember it was that was, that was them, right? Yeah, with, yeah, Drew, with, yeah, Drew, were, with Drew Holiday. With Drew Holiday, yeah, yeah. where can they find you? So y'all can check us out on any platform, social media platform, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, across the board. It's all the same. It's just at Riot Comedy. I've been shamelessly plugging it this whole time. So that's what it is at Riot Comedy. And you can check us out on our website, riotcomedy.com, where we have some bonus episodes that are exclusive that are too edgy and too raw for social media. So if y'all want to check that out, riotcomedy.com. Yeah, you need to subscribe to Riot Comedy on the website because I, I do subscribe to it. And uh, the, the, the Pool Boy and Jacuzzi episodes yeah. at the end with Ice Spice. Yeah, they're out of control. <laughs> awesome awesome stuff Listen, uh dylan I, before we get you out of here i have to tell you my favorite episode uh when yeah. john moran john moran became a nanny oh my god i was in stitches have you episode. seen the other john moran episodes of mobbing and jobbing with john whenever he does like the uh uh he he does the uh, the infomercial for no, the I suppository haven't. for elon musk that's a must that watch I'm gonna send it to y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it right right after this show. I'm, I'm gonna send it to y'all for sure because it's fucking out of control. It's mad funny. All I know is like last year, I'm just chilling, you know, watching my games and things and not. And Rudy just keeps sending me fucking riot comments. Like, what the fuck is this, Rudy? And and I'm and I and I watch it. I'm like, okay, I I can I can fuck with this. Just I'm dealing with it. It's it's funny. It's pretty you. funny. Patrick, for real. I, I see you all supporting us. I see you. Uh, Promoting us through your your yeah. podcast, 
you subscribe. I, like, I appreciate I appreciate y'all a lot. And and let's do this again. Anytime y'all y'all want me to come through, let me Definitely. know. Um, I can bring my other brothers through. We can all come on at some point. They can come on sometime. So, you know, let's let's make this happen again. Playoff basketball. Thank you for Man, your time. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. for sure. We thank you so much. We appreciate it. And um, we will have this up on Friday. So we will definitely send it over to you as well. You'll have it. It's up. I'll share it to the fans for y'all. All right. Appreciate thank you, man. man. We appreciate it, yeah, man. Hop off. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Thank you. We had Dylan Hudson, Riot Comedy. Thank you. Peace. Thank you, everyone, for participating in that colorful commentary. That was the Riot Comedy guys. Uh, they're pretty amazing. And I think we had a good first guest. What do you guys think? That was awesome. That man. was great. That was great. Loved yeah. it. Loved it. Felt, felt like a journalist again. <laughs> <laughs> Got to ask some questions. Like, that story is amazing. I mean, to, to think that you can put all that together. I mean, you see these that videos quick. are unbelievable. That, that quick. That quick. Yeah. Three, four hours. <laughs> God, it would take me three, four years. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not the tech person on this show because that should have yeah, came yeah. out to next year. Fuck yeah, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave it up to me and Rudy for that. But with that yeah, being said, yeah, if we relied on you, Nick, we would never have anything we're posted. At least we, at least we yeah. know that. We're gonna, oh, we're, I know, we acknowledge. We're we we, we understand. Going,